Daisy, Daisy. Come here, come on. Just, just for the, look, look. Hey y'all, it's me and Paisley. And if you're interested in knowing how did I end up getting this cute cat, please stay tuned. Okay, Paisley, here you go. Go play, go play. I thought it was gonna be a little bit easier to record this video, but it's a little bit more challenging than I realized it was gonna be. I have Paisley right here, and she is playing with her toy mouse that she loves. I put a little catnip in it, and she absolutely loves playing with her little toy mouse <laughs> right now. She's just adorable, she's just so cute. You can kind of see her a little bit. Let me lower my cell phone, maybe you could see her playing. Yep, there she is. She is just playing away. And I just want to share with you a little bit of the backstory as to why I ended up getting Paisley. So in 2007, maybe 2006, we had a neighbor and he had some mental health issues and he ended up moving. And he, when I say he moved, he literally picked up and he left and he left his cat. Uh -oh. Paisley is now running around. The girl is crazy. So if you hear some noise around, it's Paisley running around. I thought that that was a female cat because the female cat did not have outside male anatomy. And when I say outside male anatomy, I mean outer part male anatomy. So I just assumed that the cat was a female and my children started calling what we thought was a she Chanel. So we started calling the cat Chanel, we started feeding the cat, and the neighbor never came back. So I actually took Chanel to the vet and found out that Chanel was about one and a half to two years old. Chanel was a tabby cat and Chanel was a male. I did not realize that male cats when they are spayed. I think males are spayed. I always mess it up with spayed for males and neutered for females. So I think I have it right. But when Chanel was spayed, they actually cut off everything for males. I didn't know that. But we had already started calling him Chanel, so he just kept the name Chanel. And we had Chanel all the way until 2020. When my father passed away in November of 2020, Chanel actually passed away in December of 2020. And it may have been maybe the beginning of 2021. We're not sure exactly the date, but what happened was Chanel actually froze in my neighbor's garage. And it was really sad, it was very devastating for me at that time. You know, this was a cat that we had grown to love. And during the pandemic, Chanel was just my buddy. You know, I would be doing Zoom calls and Chanel would jump on my lap and you would see his tail. And um, so yeah, so it was really, really hard when Chanel passed away. I went an entire year without having any pets here in the house. And then, <laughs> my bud's back. Deja went to LA and she picked up Honey, my granddaughter. And Honey actually spent almost a half a year here in Ohio. We had a, a great time with Honey and it just was nice to have a pet around the house again. So in 2021, Christmas time, Honey went back to LA when we went to go visit Ree and her husband Greg, and we took Honey back and we came back home, and although Honey is a handful, to me having a dog, it, it's a lot of work. You really have to do a lot when it comes to taking care of a dog. But I did miss her, I'm not gonna lie. I did miss having her around. And I know that Deja missed having Honey around. She would say, Mom, I'm gonna come home one day and I'm gonna have a dog. And I'm like, oh, I don't really want that because if she gets a dog, then that means I'm gonna have to take care of the dog. 
and I really don't want to take care of a dog. Taking care of a dog, in my opinion, is a big responsibility. Something that tragically happened here on YouTube, our friend Nezzy, her family and her friends call her Angel, but we here on YouTube call her Nezzy. Her beloved dog, Shay Shay, got hit by a car, and Shay Shay was in dog heaven with Chanel, who is now in cat heaven. And, um, you know, I, I don't even know why I just said that. I guess I'm saying it that way because I don't want YouTube to flag my videos because I know certain words that you say YouTube will flag. So that's why I'm kind of saying it in that manner. Her dog passed away and like I, I felt her pain and it was just really hard not just for her but it was hard on all of us the greasy babies because we actually enjoyed watching the videos of Shay Shay and you know, I would look forward to seeing Shay Shay she was a beautiful dog and I'm so happy that Nezzy shared that part of her life with us because here you go, here you go. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. She wants me to play with her right now. I'm trying to do this video and it's like I can't play with her. Nezzy immediately went and she adopted another dog named Nico. And she actually got a boy this time around. She was training Nico and just having such a good time with Nico. Nico was, a, I think, seven months old at that time, but he's probably eight or nine months old now. It was just so nice to see Nezzy and her new dog. And it, it, it inspired me to go out and adopt another cat. So I was actually looking for a younger cat but the cat needed to already be litter box trained and very friendly. And so I went to the Humane Society and they had lots of cats. But some of these cats, you open up the cage and they was like, like hissing. And I'm like, uh-uh, that, that is not the kind of cat I want. Because a lot of those cats were not used to being around humans you know they were just cats like picked up off of the streets and then I opened up the cage that I forgot what her name was her name was something else it wasn't Paisley Locko <laughs> they named her Locko I opened up the cage with Locko and she just came right out and jumped into my arms and she was just the cutest thing ever do you like that name Locko I like Paisley better I think she looks more like a Paisley do you want some more treats? She's now licking and cleaning herself. She's actually three years old and she's very, very friendly. She loves to play almost a little bit too much, to be honest with you. She is extremely friendly and she wants to like sleep in the bed with me all the time and looking to see if I'm awake and she's licking on my sleep apnea machine. As he actually inspired me to go ahead and get a cat. And I said that if I ever do get a cat, I'm going to actually make sure that I take good care of the cat, make sure the cat has a vet and get their shots and all that kind of stuff. And I did get her a collar and it has a little bell because she's sneaky. That girl, she be underneath my bed. She was underneath my dresser one day. She gets behind the couch. Now she's going into her litter box to go do number two. And let me tell you, when she does her number two, she goes into the litter box and she puts it like so far down into the litter that you don't even know that she went. Whereas when Chanel used to go, he used to just go right on top. Like he didn't care. She goes and she like scratches over it and digs it down into the ground. She does a really good job of covering up her mess and I do appreciate that. The only thing I don't like is I don't know that she went and so I just clean her litter box every day. I make sure that I feed her twice a day and I give her water twice a day. But yeah, she eats really well, she poops really well, she pees really well and she has not had any accidents here in the house and I've had her since 
January 29th and not one accident. So I'm very, very proud of her. Very proud of her. When I got her, she weighed 10 pounds and 30 ounces. So she's a pretty heavy cat. And it, it looks like she's maybe had a litter. I don't, I don't know. I received this folder with all of her papers when I adopted her and also her little adoption, I don't know what you call these, the, well this isn't for her adoption, this is her rabies vaccination, so I thought that was really nice. I didn't put it on her collar because if she does go outside, she's probably going to lose her collar because that's what Chanel would do, but I did have to sign a paper saying that she wouldn't go outside and I did try to see what would happen if she would go outside and she actually ran back in the house like she was like uh uh it is too cold out there I don't like it but she does like looking out the window she's actually looking out the window right now so that is the end of the video as always let's have a conversation down below what do you think I was about to call her uh, Chanel. <laughs> Come here, Paisley. Stay right here. Paisley was named after Paisley Park Prince's um, music company. She, she won't even stay for the end of the video. And then when I turn this camera off, she's going to be all lovey-dovey. I won't be able to record any videos. She's going back to look out the window. So anyway, as always, let's have a conversation down below. Yeah, she's looking out the window. <laughs> what do you guys think about me getting a new cat? And what do you think about um, adoption versus going out and buying a cat that was created from like a cat meal? You know, again, um, adopting a cat is a little bit different because one, it was only $60. Two, everything was taken care of. Three, you know, she got microchipped. I didn't have to do anything. The rabies shots, vaccines. So I feel like that is something that I don't think that you actually get when you buy pets from, you know, like the pet stores and things like that. So what do you think about the pros and cons of getting a cat from the Humane Society and adopting versus getting one from the stores? Do you have any pets? What kind of pets do you guys have? I'm happy that I actually got Paisley. She's a great addition to our family. I just wish that she was a little bit more friendlier when it came to the camera, but I guarantee you, as soon as I turn this camera off, she's gonna be right over here by me, not looking out the window. It, it might be because the kids are getting out of the school bus. Usually that's when Honey would like to look out the window too, when the kids got off the school bus. All right, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, so can you explain to me why when it's time to go to bed, now you all lovey-dovey, here you come. I can't even lay down without you coming towards me. Huh? Can you say hi to everybody? Can you let everybody see your beautiful face? Your beautiful face? Hey, the cutie pie. Can you let them see you? Huh? Say hello everyone. My name is Paisley. My name is Paisley. Na 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 na. My name is Paisley. Na 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 na. I I am Paisley. Yeah. You're so tired. And you can hear me, because your tail is wiggling. So you pretending like you're sleeping. You ain't really sleep. You you just like the kids. The kids did this too. They would pretend like they sleep. And you doing the same thing. Like you just like your brother and sister. Pretending like you sleep. You ain't slick, Paisley. You ain't slick. Oh, but no, see? I see your tail and I see your eyes open. You not sleep. <laughs>